repentance and remission of sins. Before the ascension of Jesus Christ, he commanded the believers to go into the world. And preach the gospel of repentance and remission of sins to the world. If you don't mind that you are having your Bible, please turn with me to the book of Luke. Luke chapter 24. I'm reading from verse 47. And he says, And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. It is our obligation to preach the gospel of repentance. And remission of sins to the world as Jesus instructed us before his ascension. A good Christian should convert unbelievers to God Almighty. Jesus preached the gospel of repentance. A remission of sins to the world in his days. And was able to convert many souls to God. And the holy apostles of old did the same in their days, and they were called Christians. If you don't mind that you're having your Bible, please don't still don't read to the book of Acts of Apostles. Let's see the beginning of Christianity in our days. Acts of Apostles chapter 11, I'm reading from verse 24. For he was a good man, and full of the Holy Ghost, and of faith, and much people was added unto the Lord. Saul, 
안쪽에 데리고 왔소. 둘이 교회, 교회에 1년간 모여 있어 큰 무리를 가르쳐고 제자들이 안티옥에서 비로소 그리스도인이라 일편 결룸을 받게 되어더라. 사도들은 20, 26절 사도들은 하나님 앞에서 두려워하고 위로우신 하나님이 회개와 죄사함의 복금을 전하며 하나님의 계명을 지키며 예수님의 가르침을 지켰습니다. The holy apostles were God fearing and good people. 사도들은 하나님의 앞에서 두려워하고 두려워하고 우신 하나님의 회개와 죄사함에 They were righteous before God and kept to the instructions of Jesus by preaching the gospel of repentance and remission of sins. 예수님이 주신 중요한 가르침을 봅시다. They did what was right before God. 
Except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Jesus taught us that we must repent before our sins will be forgiven. We cannot receive remission of sins without repentance. Sinners cannot go into the kingdom of God according to the teachings of Jesus. The impact of our gospel to the world is to deliver sinners from sin. We should deliver sinners from their sinful life into righteousness according to the reflection that Jesus gave to St. Paul. Let's see the obligation of pastors or evangelists or ministers of God. If you still have your Bible, please talk with me to the book of Acts of Apostles. Acts of Apostles chapter 26, I'm reading from verse 18. It says, To open their eyes and turn them from darkness to light, and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. In the first place, number one, Jesus commanded St. Paul and all the true ministers and pastors to help people to open their eyes. To turn them away from darkness to light. Number three, to deliver them from the hands of Satan unto the hands of God. So God has called us to help the world with the true knowledge of God. To preach the gospel of repentance and remission of sins. Salvation and everlasting hope after all things has passed by. So be strong as a child of God to preach the gospel. Be courageous in your faith as a believer. Thank you.